Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to show you how you can understand why your car is not able to deliver the power that was on the spec. And this is because of the cable in my case. Uh, this is a type two connector. And recently I charged my car on the AC charging station, which was 22 kilowatts. And I put uh, the type 2 cable that the car manufacturer provided to me when I bought the car. Actually, my car is Volkswagen e up second generation. The onboard charging of the car is 7.2 kilowatts. So uh, it's able to charge faster than the previous generation. But in the video, I found out that the car is charging actually with about 4 kilowatts. I'll put a link into the video description so you can uh, see more about the charging process. And I search a lot into the internet to find what may be the reason uh, this to happen. And I realized that it's not the problem with the car charger. It's not the problem with the AC charger. The problem was with the cable itself. The cable was not able to deliver the power that the car can uh, consume and the charger can deliver. So this was the bottleneck. And let me show you how you can find out what your cable is able to deliver to the car. You can see on the table uh, in the video that there is a way to find out what is the cable able to deliver. And this is by measuring the resistance between the neutral, the ground, sorry, the ground pin of the type 2 connector and the proximity power. This is where you are measuring with the multimeter what is the resistance. Based on this resistance, you can understand how much power the cable is able to deliver. So if, it, if you measure one, uh, 100 ohms, then the cable is able to deliver 20, uh, 63 amps of power, of current. If the, if the, uh, the resistance between the the ground and the proximity power is uh, 220 ohms, then it's able to deliver 32 amps of current. If it is 680 ohms, 20 amps, and if it's 1.5 Q ohms, 13, 13 amps. Uh, so this is the way you need just a multimeter and measure the resistance between the, uh, the ground pin and the proximity power pin on the uh, type 2 connector. I have re prepared here a list of, not a list, but a bunch of cables that I will measure and show you what will be the expectance power delivery of this cable. So let's get started. First, I will start with the cable that the manufacturer provided with the car. This is the type 2 connector. The brand is Menekes in Germany. So this is the voltmeter set to measure uh, the resistance. And when you plug the voltmeter into the uh, ground pin and then measure the proximity pilot pin, you will see it is 679 ohms, which means that the cable can deliver maximum of 20 ohms of power. And if you multiply 20 amps by 220 volts, you will see that it's around 4 kilowatts uh, that this cable can provide to the car. And this is the reason actually why my test, in my test, I was able to charge the car with 4 kilowatts. Let me show you another cable. Now, let me show you this charger here. This is the Duo Sida charger that I'm uh, working with it very often. Uh, I use it mostly uh, to charge the car in the, the Shuko cable. It's limited to 10 amps. This is the limitation on the charger itself. But to see what's the limitation on the cable, you need to measure the resistance of the type two. So let me show you what is the measurement here. I will put one prop in the, in the proximity pilot, the other, into the ground, you can see the result, 681 ohms. So the cable is able to deliver 
20 amps but the charger is limited to 10 amps so let's make another test this is my biggest uh, charger it is rated at 16 amp maximum current and actually it's able to deliver it i hope i already tested i will put a link to the video description uh, so this is very good charger that i'm using when i am in a hurry and uh, let me measure now what is the resistance of the uh, type 2 cable so i'll put the probe into the proximity pilot again and into the ground here and the resistance 681 ohms so i'm not putting the prop stable into the uh, cable but you can see that the the cable is deliver is able to deliver 20 amps and the charger is rated for uh, to 16 amps so if you want to charge the car with uh, because the 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 Volkswagen e-app onboard charging is single phase 32 amps i need to find a better cable which is able to deliver 30, 32 amps through a single phase this is the single phase uh, this is the way you can find out what may be the problem if your car is charging slower than on the specs okay that's it for this very uh, short video i hope you like it and you learn something if you like the video give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon